Thanks for joining us. There are 34 counties in Wisconsin that don't have a single ICU bed. That's according to data collected by Kaiser Health News. How do they prepare for a pandemic like this and how do they treat COVID patients? Jamie Perez spoke to staff at Gunderson Mound View Hospital in Adams County today to find out. Jamie? Adams County is just one example of an area that does not have the resources it needs at its hospital to take care of a serious COVID patients, but they, like many other places, have developed workarounds so that they are prepared for a surge of patients. Many rural Wisconsin counties have never had ICU beds in their hospitals. The counties with the most ICU beds are Milwaukee, Waukesha, and Outagamie. And out of all the counties with no ICU beds, Adams County has the highest percentage of at-risk people at 37% of its population, which brings us to the Gunderson Moundview Hospital. Director of Quality and Infection Control Judy Nowicki says they have to transfer about 30 people a month to other hospitals to get access to an ICU bed. The Gunderson Health System would be our first choice because we are part of that system and other options would be UW Health, Meritor or St. Mary's. So far, they've been lucky. With only one positive COVID case, which they were able to treat here, they haven't had to worry about the what ifs. But they say they do have a plan if a surge of COVID patients were to happen. We've opened up a wing in our hospital where we can isolate the non-critical COVID patients as well as those that are being tested. If they came across a COVID patient who needed ICU care. We do have an agreement that if we have an ICU patient here and um, that we could move our ICU patient and in return we could take a patient from them. If they were having a surge also, that we could again take a less acute patient to our facilities. While it may seem pertinent to have an ICU bed, many Wisconsin hospitals are prepared to get patients the care they need, regardless of which hospital they get it from. We haven't had to put this in place as of yet, but we are prepared if we need to do so. There are many hospitals that are operating just the same as they are. To find out if your county has an ICU bed, head on over to channel3000.com. Jamie, thank you. 